Welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm Ashley Martella. The fallout from the Arizona massacre continues. Seems liberal Democrats are seizing the opportunity to blame conservatives and talk radio for the violence, even though evidence from the police investigation suggests the shooter was a deranged gunman who loved the Communist Manifesto. We're joined by Michael Reagan. In addition to being a Republican strategist, head of the Reagan Legacy Foundation, and Ronald Reagan's son, he's also a former radio talk show host. Good to have you back, Michael. Good to be with you, Ashley. The Arizona sheriff investigating the shooting deaths of six people and the critical wounding of Representative Gabrielle Giffords is blasting Rush Limbaugh. Clarence Dupnick says Limbaugh angers them against government and elected officials and implies Rush may somehow be a factor. What do you think of the sheriff's remarks? Well, I think he's acting like a complete fool. I think everybody agrees with that, at least on my side of the equation. I think some on the other side also. You know, I think back to March 30th, 1981, when my father was shot. I remember asking Michael Ludy, who was my Secret Service agent in charge of my detail that day, I said to Michael, I said, Michael, how in the world can my father be shot with all the Secret Service protection around him and a gunman gets through and is able to not only shoot my father, but shoot all the others. Mike Ludy said to me, Mike, we train 24 hours a day to protect the President of the United States and people such as yourself. The one thing we'll never be able to train enough for are the crazies. And what happened on Saturday in Arizona was one of those crazies. You cannot train enough for those people. They are crazy. Unfortunately, they're able to get to you. And as I said to other people, 318 million people in the United States of America. Most of them were watching football on Saturday. One crazy person got free. Fox News President Roger Ailes has defended Sarah Palin against criticism that her website used target imagery, but he told his network commentators to tone down the rhetoric in the wake of the shooting. Do you think some commentators are going a bit too far? Listen, I don't think anybody on Fox is going too far at all. If anything, they're really telling the truth about the issue. Sarah Palin had an ad up with Congress people that she was targeting in 20 districts across this nation. No different than the Democrats did back in 2004. This is a word that is used in every campaign since I can remember. You're targeting this election, targeting this congressman, targeting this senator. It doesn't mean that we're asking people to go out there and shoot and kill people. Here's somebody who's been planning this since 2007 when he felt that, in fact, he was dissed by the congresswoman, and he's been planning it. The FBI knows that. They've talked about it, but yet the left wants to make hay with it and try to blame someone. And this is just something that happens in the world that we live in today. Like when my father passed away from Alzheimer's, there must be a reason. Can't we do something? We're always trying to affix blame or, or find the reason why something happened. Sometimes it just happens. Michael, using the Arizona shooting, do you expect Democrats to try to bring back the so-called fairness doctrine, which your father got rid of in 1987? Listen, they haven't tried to get rid of the fairness doctrine. They'd love to have it. But I worry about people like Congressman Pete King, who believes that now we should pass a gun law so no guns are allowed within a thousand feet of a member of Congress. Well, the reality of it is, it's illegal to shoot Congress people. It's illegal to shoot and kill people, but yet a gun still made it into that event on Saturday and ended up killing people and wounding many. It doesn't matter that Pete King wants to say you can't carry a gun within a thousand feet of a congressman. Somebody who wants to do damage, somebody who wants to kill, somehow will find a way. Now, no evidence suggests the shooter listened to talk radio or was a fan of any conservative. In fact, anything quite the contrary. Yet the Democrats continue pointing figures. Now, is this an example of Rahm Emanuel's you never want a serious crisis to go to waste axiom? Oh, yeah, absolutely right. I mean, the President of the United States right now has the ability to really quell all this. But he's not doing that, is he? He could quell it all. Listen, I'm not going to blame the left. You're not going to blame the right. Blame the person who did the crime. 22 years of age. You're right. No proof he listened to talk radio at all. No proof he even had a radio. And, and what would he be listening to? And you listen to the people around him, those that went to school with him, those that uh, said you can't join the military. All of them felt this man was absolutely out of his mind and crazy. You can't reason with a crazy person. You can't at all. They will always find a reason, some kind of a reason, to do damage. People saw this train wreck coming, 
it finally happened. Don't blame Rush. Don't blame Sarah. And you might remember back with what happened in Oklahoma a few years ago, named names, Mike Reagan, Ali North, and Rush Limbaugh were blamed for Timothy McVeigh blowing up the federal building in Oklahoma. So, again, the left has always tried to affix names. And what's interesting about that is Ali had only been in talk radio two weeks, and Brian Gumbel was already blaming him for what happened in Oklahoma. And finally, do you agree with the media watchdog Brent Bozell that the left is trying to criminalize conservatives? Oh, absolutely right. It's interesting, though, with Brent Bozell, what a great guy Brent Bozell is. For years he's been talking about what's been going on on television and movies and the violence, and he talks about the violence in video games, all these things. And every time he does, the left stands up and says, Oh, it's just a video game. Oh, it's just a movie. Oh, it's just a television show. It really doesn't mean anything. And guess what? Now all of a sudden they're trying to blame Rush and everybody else for what happened Saturday in Arizona. It's outrageous. Michael Reagan, thanks so much for sharing your thoughts with us here. You got it. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.